Hello, my name is Mooncat and welcome to some very interesting stuff on the beta server. Today I'm gonna have a look at the 10th anniversary event. It released earlier today, so now it's time to check it out, see how it looks and see if you can get anything good. Now, for those not familiar with these kinds of videos, uh, here I'm just gonna go over the event, give my first impressions and all of that. This is not meant as a deep dive into the event. I will have a video later on when I'm more familiar with the event and when the event is closer to being released on live. I'll have a more detailed video, but for now we're just going to have a quick look at the event, the announcement, and then the event in a game. So let's start by quickly looking at the announcement. Here you can see the board game. This event is based on this board here, and basically you roll a dice, you move ahead, and you get some rewards. It is uh, quite simple. So yeah, roll the dice, you need paper money, this currency here, in order to roll the dice. Uh, and you also have these uh, special dice here, golden dice or joker dice. These you can choose the value or the number of uh, <laughs> tiles you want to move between 1 and 6. So, as we'll see in a moment, very simple mechanics. You simply roll the dice and move ahead. So that's quite nice after a very hectic event in the St. Patrick's Day event. So, as you can see here, you have two kinds of boxes. You have these uh, smaller, flatter ones, and then you have some bigger ones. There are two types, so common chest and rare chest. The common one has a 5-7% to chance of giving the daily special, as well as some other rewards. And then this one, the rare one, has a very decent chance, actually, between 12 and 14. Uh, that, yeah, quite nice. Usually uh, tops out at around 10, or perhaps even up to 15, so that's nice. Then you also have this daily goal here. Uh, on the board, we'll see that in-game as well, you have a flag, and if you reach that that day, you will get a daily reward. So this is to <laughs> incentivize you to play daily. Uh, though, if I were to guess, you probably wouldn't want to do this. You probably want to save up your currency for a daily special you want. Anyways, uh, when you get that chest, you either get the daily special, some event currency or some forge points. I'm not quite sure if these are the same for every daily goal uh, or if they change, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see on that. Then lastly, you have some uh, special uh, things in the corner here, and I'll go over that a little bit more when I show the event in-game. Uh, it'll be much clearer there. Uh, anyways, uh, in terms of rewards, uh, first of all, you get the grand prize after you have cleared a full board. So when you pass the start, 32 tiles, you get the next grand prize. Very simple. Now, when it comes to the rewards, the main one here, and I'm going to really struggle saying this name, the Golden Orrery, something like that. It is 4x5. I really like the look of it. It looks gorgeous. Uh, some sort of really cool instrument. I really like the look of that. Uh, it has 10 levels. And at max level, it gives the usual stuff, and it gives 10 forge points, which is very nice. Uh, it's only 20 tiles big, so that is 0 0.5, which is among the better uh, buildings in terms of uh, forge points. And it gives up to 27% defense boost for the attacking army. Uh, that is quite all right. I think that's uh, pretty much the same as the Olympic treasury, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, definitely decent there. And then it gives a random reward. Now this is not the same random reward uh, as we have uh, in other uh, Wishing Well, for example. That was the first <laughs> thought that I had in mind. Uh, but it's more uh, similar to the uh, Lighthouse, if I forget what it's called, uh, Yeah, from previous events. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a look at that in-game. Uh, the re rewards are uh, visible there, so we can see. Now, in addition to that, you have uh, three new buildings. Uh, these first two here are a part of a small set. You have the Grand King and Grand Queen, each with two levels. And at the max level, uh, when combined both of these, you can see that they give 5 plus 3 forge points. So 8 forge points in total uh, for 18 tiles, essentially. So that's, yeah, it's alright, it's nothing special. I probably wouldn't focus on these. This one, on the other hand, Stage of Ages, which is also a daily special. All of these will be daily specials. This one gives... It's only one level, and it gives up to 19% attack boost for your attacking army uh, in the latest ages. So that is really good. 
19 for 16 tiles, so slightly above one attack per tile if we include roads, which is very nice. It also gives five forge points, which is respectable, uh, not a lot, but uh, quite all right. But the big thing, the big <laughs> reason why this is so good is that you only need one. You only need it at level one. So for each of these you get, you get up to 19% attack for your army. And I do believe that is the highest attack per uh, daily special we have seen so far in the game. I think probably the previous highest was the checkmate probably with 11. Uh, I think that's the highest. So yeah, this is way above that. So a lot of attack real quickly. It is scaling though with age uh, up to. So in lower ages, it's not as good, uh, sadly. But yeah, in higher ages, it will give you a lot of attack quickly. And then one interesting thing, we have some other daily specials from previous spring events. So we have the Sushin Mill, for example, the Menagerie. And this makes me believe that this event is indeed a replacement for the spring event. Uh, it was speculated quite a lot that this would be a replacement for spring. And for me, this more or less confirms that. Uh, hopefully, though, that they will add the Cherry Set as well in addition to these. I would hate not to be able to get that this year. Uh, the people who know me know that I love my cherry set. Uh, but yeah, this, I think this, yeah, pretty much guarantee. No, <laughs> don't really want to go that strong. But for me, this, uh, you know, indicates that there will not be a spring event this year. All right, then finally, you can get some uh, icons, some avatars, uh, and also some avatars from previous events. Uh, you can see here uh, on the board, there are some previous ones. But without further ado, let's check out the event in-game. So first of all, here you have the quests as usual. You can get paper money. Not really a lot to see here, but what I do want to see is these, this building in-game. And here we can see in the future era, it gives 20%. It gives up to 27 in Space Age Venus. It gives 10 forge points. Uh, and as you can see at the bottom there, random production. You can either get 10 fragments of a 30 minute mass supply rush, uh, 4 fragments of a mass self aid kit, or 3 fragments of a 1 up kit. Now, I don't quite know how many fragments you need. Uh, I believe for the 1 up it is uh, 15. Mm, let's see if I have any here. I might have some. Uh, no. Uh, no, <laughs> but I think it's 15. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we'll have to see, uh, but yeah, I think that's quite all right. Uh, it's not nothing special, uh, but the building already is quite nice in terms of forge points and supply and uh, defense boost. So for me, this is quite a decent addition to that. It's nothing crazy, uh, but those uh, mass supply kits will help quite a bit in events to help you rush through quests if you want to. The four hour mass self aid kit. Uh, if you might not need it for your city, but it does sell quite decently to the antique dealer uh, and the one-up kit again It's it's all right. Uh, you can level up your buildings uh, quicker. Uh, so yeah, I think it's all right uh, I would like <laughs> would have liked it to be better of course uh, But I'm not too mad about it. Uh, I've seen quite a few people a little bit disappointed in the uh, comments on beta But I am all right with it Anyways here we have the board. So here you can see my daily goal and yeah, here you can see the rewards I can get. One thing I want to try, let's switch the daily special. Here we can see the Sushi and Mill uh, from Spring Event. Let's see if we get something interesting here. We get, oh, Sentinel Outpost. That's always nice to have. Uh, so <laughs> at least we get some good rewards that we can go for. Uh, I still am hoping for the cherry set, but uh, who knows what we will get. Uh, let's see uh, some of these secondary rewards. So here we can get some uh, culture buildings. Uh, this might mean for those doing higher age units, this might mean that you can get the police station. I don't know if you can uh, or not. Uh, Eco Park, let's actually see if that is a premium or not. I don't think it is. Eco Park, do I have that? I do not, <laughs> can I unlock it? Uh, uh, eco Park, is that this one? Eco Park, okay, so that is not premium, so that's good to know. Uh, so you might perhaps be able to get the police station for those interested in that. Anyways, uh, we have some forge points, uh, some units, a uh, decent amount of units, that's nice, uh, for the new cities. Some more forge points, yeah, some more forge points, uh, some fragments. 
only one fragment, so that's not a lot at all. Uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, that's quite a few decorations. Uh, you can sell those to the antique dealer, I suppose. Some blueprints, some more blueprints. Uh, here we have quite a few other uh, mass uh, rush kits, so that's interesting. Um, you know, they're all right <laughs> from time to time. Some more forge points. I wonder if these are random or, or if these are the same for everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm really curious there. I'm not quite sure. This one gets quite a decent amount of forge points. And some other uh, special units. Uh, Alright, um, there we can also see you can get a wishing well uh, shrink kit here. Again, I don't know if these are random or not. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at this. Uh, okay, so these are other ones. Uh, this is in modern era. And that's one, one, another thing. Uh, <laughs> the event uh, is based on the Forge of Empires Ages. So you start in... Let's actually just start playing. Let's roll a dice. We get some forge points, that's nice. Continue. So here you can see that we start in the Stone Age. And as we advance through this board, uh, I don't have the event currency to do it now. You need 100 for each uh, dice roll. Hmm, got a daily special, that's nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you move past uh, or through the minigame, when you go past the start, you start on the next age. So Bronze Age after this, then Iron Age, and so on. So that'll be uh, cool to see. I'm not sure uh, how these rewards uh, differ. Uh, these are different, so... Okay, so we know that next time around these are, will be different. So that's interesting to know. And we've got the Wishing Well Shrink Kit. That's nice. Uh, Rosarium, you can sell that to the Antique Stealer. So yeah, the chests are different uh, for each uh, turn or for each round. Not sure if they are uh, different or the same for all players, or if every player has a completely random board. Uh, that every age is random, perhaps. I don't know. That'll be interesting to see uh, how that changes. Uh, but overall, it uh, seems like an interesting board. Uh, then we have this special dice here. Uh, let's just ro roll one for the fun of it. We land here, and we get another one. <laughs> uh, so that's a free turn. Um, now, we also have this corner down here. Daily, oh, sorry, daily special boost. Then they have to get 5% chance of winning the daily special for 5 hours. Now that's interesting. So that is a really good strategy, I think. Uh, saving up all your event currency for one day, when you get the daily special you want. Uh, as you saw, I started with one gold dice. So when that day comes along, you use your dice to land on this tile. You collect it, and then for the next five hours, you spend your remaining event currency, and you will get the five, plus five percent chance of winning the daily special, and that should uh, probably be a massive difference. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, don't really want to use it now because I'm going to be playing into this a little bit on beta, uh, but yeah, you can use this. I could use it now to move one, two, three, four, five tiles to get here. Uh, and then for the next five hours, I will get a lot more daily specials, hopefully. And that's about it. Uh, so, quite a simple event. Uh, might look complicated, but all you do is roll some dice. Uh, pretty much, uh, or quite similar to other events, where you simply spend your currency and you get some rewards. Purely luck-based. And uh, while I prefer strategy-based events, it's nice to have a break every now and then, and we're just coming off the St. Patrick's Day event. This will be the next one after that, so it'll be nice to have some more <laughs> relaxed event uh, where you don't really have to think about it. You just you just roll your dice and you get what you get. Uh, so yeah, that's the event. Uh, quick <laughs> first impressions. Overall, I am quite yeah, quite excited. It's nothing too special, uh, but at the same time, the event building looks good, has some good stats. The event is... Yeah, again, nothing crazy in terms of uh, mechanics, but at the same time, it, uh, every event doesn't have to have crazy mechanics. So I'm sure a lot of people will be happy with it. And that's about it for this video. As I said, I will make a more detailed video later on, uh, probably in a couple of months, a couple of weeks, or even a month or more. Uh, so when this event is closer to coming to the live, I will make a video. I will make I will make a simulation, rest assured. I will try to figure out roughly how many daily specials you can expect. 
uh, and all of that so stay tuned for that but that, that will do for this video now before i end this video i would like to thank my patreons i would like to thank homestar fort prefect lorden merrick b arkler hugo count von count jon fredriksen drew the generous filda rush susan weiss rocco henrik de Reclerber, and mattia thank you all very much for your support Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.